Hi Scrubs, my name is Clarence, I mean, so Nico and today we're- Huh? You think you can steal my wigs? I'm Sancho, okay? I'm the anime girl, okay? Don't you ever steal my anime stuff ever again, Clarence. You understand me? Mm. Honestly though, can you believe the nerve of that guy? <sighs> well, I never. Hi guys. Wow, I mean, every time I try to make a video, that guy, Clarence has got to come in here and break it, screw it up. Okay, he seen me in my my wig and he got very jealous. Clearly, how's it going, my lovely scrubs? How are you, how are you guys doing? All right, go ahead, and, go ahead and let me know. Tell me. Go ahead. Let's let's take this opportunity to explain how your day is going. Okay, it's always about me. I don't want it to I don't want it to just be about me. I want it to be about you guys. The real MVPs, the scruffs. That's good. So, if you guys have not seen yesterday's video, that is actually my video on how I met Yandere Dev at uh, Anime Expo 2017. It was so, so freaking fun. Anime Expo was just absolutely amazing. And if you ever get the chance to go to Anime Expo, which is in Los Angeles, and it's usually around the 4th of July, well, no, I think now it's, act it's actually from the 5th to the 8th or something like that. But if you ever get a chance, you need to go. It's cool because Yandere Dev was there. I got to finally meet him. And anyway, I'll link the video up here somewhere if you haven't seen it. Okay, so one thing I didn't include in yesterday's video of anime expo is all the anime stuff I got so I thought I would show it off to you guys and just you know show you guys exactly how we buy actually am But if you saw my Sonico vid you probably don't you don't even have to wonder at this point This is just instant demonetization pretty much I gotta say what I do like is that it's nice and heavy Hi right, guys. I'm down here as well. I actually really love having another camera in order to do that. It's so Breaking amazing. So I think my most uh, prized possession was Scrub Chan. I got this at Anime Expo. Um, guys, best figure ever. No, this is sadly the only one in its kind. One day we will have plushies for you guys, but it was so cool to take. I, I got Scrub Chan and I took pictures with a bunch of people and I would love to continue to do that year after year. It was just so, so freaking amer uh, amer amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, if you go next year, we can take, you can take a, a picture with Scrub Chan if you guys would like that. <laughs> If you did see yesterday's video, I actually took a picture or a video with the YouTuber ProZD. Is that his name? Is it ProZD? He's a really fun, uh, funny, he used to be a Viner, but now he's a YouTuber. He just makes really short videos that are all, like, super, super funny. It was all screwed up too, man. I was really disappointed about that, but it, it was funny. He was at the Japan Crate booth, which happened to be right across from the Akibenso booth. Is that upside down? A Akibenso booth. I'm not even joking guys if you were there, you know what I'm talking about So I got last month's uh, Akibenso and I have not opened it up yet I thought this would be the perfect opportunity because I do have more figures that I got at anime expo that I would like to show off to you guys Because if you don't know I just love anime I mean that's why I go to anime expo all the other stuff is just a bonus like me to you guys and all that cool stuff So anyway, let's see what's in last month's Akibenso if you want to grab yourself an Akibenso It's a box full of really really awesome Japanese stuff and I mean like really awesome stuff They do have exclusive things and I know like you probably hear that a lot, but there's actually a lot of cool things that come in Akiben So I have a lot of friends that like always ask me where I get my uh, like anime stuff The majority of it comes from Akibento. So if you guys want to sign up and help the channel out by by doing so you can do so in the link in the description Anyway, let's open her up. Okay, so first off we have it looks like one of the shirts I love how they always come with shirts like anime shirts are my favorite thing ever. I cannot see this I can't oh spirit reaper. Oh, that's awesome. It's a soul eater shirt And I think the spirit reaper was actually Are they called it's been so long since I've watched um, um soul eater. So are they actually called spirit uh, reapers? I don't know. I thought that was just like a play on words with a, like a mixture between uh, bleach and um, and why do I keep forgetting? I just said it a mixture between bleach and soul reaper. Yeah, so dang it <laughs> Soul Eater! Uh, yeah, I will. Fr I freaking love it when like I when stuff I like is on the shirt. It's awesome. Soul Eater is a really good anime. And speaking of Bleach, we have Grimjow. That's I forgot. I have a camera down here. Hi, there's Grimjow right there. That's pretty cool. I did get that far in Bleach, so I do know who he is. Oh my God! Look, this is from um, Spirited Away. Well, not just Spirited Away, but other uh, Hayao Miyazaki movies. Forgive me if I'm saying that wrong. I think they're called um. Dust suits? Suits? Suit sut? They're they're sut. It sounds stupid what I'm saying, but that's exactly what they are. Alright, look at that. Oh, that is that's freaking adorable. I'm totally gonna keep this. It's so cute. Let's look at look at it. It's like it's bouncing around. Oh, that must be the exclusive. Holy crap. That's that looks really awesome already. What is that? What is that? Why is it shaking? 
Okay, all right, we're gonna we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait on that. We're gonna save that for the last thing. What? What is this? Black rock shooter? Black rock shooter? What the heck is black rock shooter? You've never heard of that. It's a notebook. It's too bad it's not a death note. Hey, what's your name again? <laughs> no, no reason. All right, no reason. I don't want to write no one's name here. I swear. Just uh, give me your name whenever you're good and ready, okay? It's safe to say I don't know the anime, but it's cool. Anime notebook. Maybe I'll watch it later. That's what I try to do when I get stuff that I don't know of is uh, like I want to watch the anime uh, Later so I understand what it is because you guys know the rule the BG Mike rule is to not wear things that You don't know. Okay. The only exception is when there's characters that you do know on there I've been asked to watch black butler so much as you can see right here. That is a black butler wristband cool I, I'll hang on to this. I'll definitely hang on to that. I have so much crap on my desk You guys don't even know right now. So I, I'm guessing this is the featured youtuber of the month. His name is Roger Bass. One day I will be on here, okay? Guys, wait for it. I'm going to be on an Akibento. It's gonna happen. It's kind of been a dream, honestly. Um, I've always watched the Anime Man's Akibento videos. So it, it was cool. It's cool that I get to do these videos with Akibento as well. So thank you, Akibento, once again. So uh, this month's theme is actually spirits, which does make sense because we got Soul Eater, we have Bleach, um, apparently Black Butler spirit stuff. I didn't know that. And then, of course, um, spirited away. I mean, it's in the freaking title. This is what that's from, so. It's time to open this up and see what the heck is actually in here. I'm trying to figure out why is it shaky. I want to say maybe it's also from Spirited Away. What? LED crystal necklace. Okay. All right, you guys get to see first. What is it? What is it? Oh my god, that's a soul eater. Guys, look, take a look at that. I don't know if you can see it very well, but like it's got Maka's um, scythe on there, which I guess would be Soul, right? I, I've always loved Soul Eaters. That's that's freaking sick. I'm putting that on now. So I'm guessing it lights up. How do we get it to light up? Oh, twist the cap light to turn on the LED. Twist uh, close to turn off the LED. Oh, so I untwist it? I, I guess. Oh, oh, okay. I just had to twist it on. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. Here, let's turn off the lights. This is probably not even gonna look good at all. Okay, I'm not very smart. All the lights are over here. I'm not gonna turn them all off. Look at that. It's like a rave in my hands. Holy cow. Holy cow. That is sick. I would have loved to have that for Anime Expo because we actually went to some like sort of rave thing. Very cool. So yeah, that's exactly why you should get like Akibento stuff. Like if you're ever like in the market, for something like that. Akibito's got some really cool stuff that I've never seen anywhere. One year they had a golden kunai and I really wanted that, but I never, you know, I, I wasn't subscribed to Akibito at the time. Very awesome. Forget everything, okay? Forget everything I've said in this video because the only reason I really made this video was to show you guys that Scrubchan has a boyfriend slash and or girlfriend, okay? Scrubchan? Migi. <laughs> hey, big boy and or girl. <laughs> oh no, Migi, stop attacking Scratch! Ah, what does this channel become? So I got a Migi, and if you don't know what Migi is, this is actually from Parasite. I actually got this for my, for my wife, um, but I mean, it's kind of we kind of share things. But it's uh, this this is mostly for her. But uh, she she loves Parasite. Parasite is an absolutely like amazing anime. And when I seen this there, I was like, I have to get this because I've never seen this anywhere else. And the funny thing is, if you ever watch Parasite, it looks exactly like Migi, like sa same size and everything. You know, I cut you. I cut you so bad. You wish I never cut you. So that's the real reason I wanted to make this video because you know it's ironic that they both do not have a. Um, a gender like they they legit don't scrub chan may sound like a girl but it's not a girl and it's not a guy i don't know what it is and i definitely know this is a parasite so i i don't know you guys you guys go figure you guys have already seen this but this is the yandere shirts i seen this and i actually do like future diary a lot and it says yandere so like i don't have to explain why i got that do i for all the long time scrubs that been a part of the channel you know you know that i love me some Catherine. You guys know that I love me some Catherine, so it says the stray sheep and if you guys have ever played Catherine, you can actually watch the whole series on my channel. It's still there. It's pretty old, but you guys can, you know, go watch it if you'd like to. Uh, the stray sheep is actually a bar on uh, Catherine. It's a really amazing game. One of my all-time favorites. Same people that made Persona 5, so there you go. And again, with more, with some more parasites, we got the Migi shirts. This is actually the first thing that I seen when I went to that stand, and they had all of those other things. Um, just really really amazing. They're all official licensed too, not like fan made and <laughs> You guys already know how I feel about Umaru-chan, you know, Himotsu Umaru-chan. Very very awesome show 
We got the Umaru. I thought it was just too cute to pass up. So we got two of these. I got one for my wife and one for me. It makes me look like a Reese's peanut butter cup, but it's cool. It's really cool. Very, very cool, guys. So that was pretty much it for all the shirts. And uh, you, you can't have anime stuff without the anime figures, okay? You live, you live for the anime figurines. I have been like pretty much obsessed with Gintama. Um, it's a big series. And I've been trying to catch up. There's a lot of episodes of Gintama. Um, Einstein, the YouTuber Einstein, which his name's not Einstein anymore. His name is Shine PhD. Uh, he talked about it, so I started watching it. It's really, really funny. So I decided to get these figures. It's actually a set. So it actually came at a pretty, pretty decent price. It was actually $50 for both of these, which is like a steal because I think the cheapest price for a, you know something this size would be about 30 bucks. So 50 was a pretty good price. So let's unbox these babies. If you can see here, they both come with like a bench and stuff like that. Um, I'm so I'm gonna guess they come with the bench. I hope they do. Yandere Mike's back, baby. <laughs> I gotta get my handy dandy knife out. Like knives, uh, you know, they, they could be bad, but they help. They're supposed to help. They help me a lot. What? What is this? What is what is this? I thought it was. Oh, it smells bad. It smells like a skunk, dude. I'm gonna be kind of mad if it doesn't come with the benches. What are they supposed to sit on? There is no bench. Are you kidding me? Where do I get the bench at? Look at the back. It clearly like shows them sitting on something. I'm gonna hope that this one comes with it. I don't know. I know they're a set, but God. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a hole in his mouth, and I was like, wait a minute, isn't there supposed to be something in his mouth? But no. Or it's it, it is though. I mean, I suppose if it says bench not included I there's no way I could possibly know that because I can't read Japanese. Okay, so we actually just have to put uh, Gintoki's little pipe in his mouth. Okay. Well, there it is with the pipe in his mouth I feel like I'm gonna lose that in about five seconds. God like seriously. I'm just like really still triggered There's no bench to it. I, I guess I'll just sit him on my hand there. There you go Always be careful with knives kids. Okay. It could be very very dangerous Confirmed there is no bench Crap. Oh, yes, this is so cool. I mean, they are really cool, but look at them sit on their non-existing benches. Can they sit on this? Maybe they can sit on this. Oh, hey, that kind of works. Oh, hey, hey, we're onto something. So next one we have is Itachi um, from Naruto. I, I mean, I feel like I, there's no explanation needed, but if you don't know Naruto, that's Itachi. Now, the reason why I decided to get an Itachi uh, figure is because I've always wanted one. Itachi is one of my all-time favorite characters on Naruto. I kind of go back and forth when it comes to Naruto characters, but Itachi has always been my, like, my favorite. Now, this one was $55. I mean, those two figures that I had right there were 50 so it's a little pricey, but I don't know. I, I love it, okay? So, they had a few of them that I, I wanted, but this one's cool because you can change the hairstyles, the hands, the faces, and give them a ponytail and stuff like that. Now, normally, I'm not really all for those kinds of, those kinds of things, but I was like, okay, you know, you, you don't find that many Itachi figures, so I'll definitely take it. I'm not exactly sure, but I think you could take off as you can. You can actually take off his jacket too. That's real. That's really awesome. Holy crap! I just noticed. <laughs> Itachi was wrong. Look at his head. His head's not even attached. That's pretty cool though. So like that's like from uh, Itachi's iconic pose of him like having his hand out of his jacket and stuff like that. Only you Naruto people will know. Ah, I got no arms. <laughs> so you like everything's interchangeable. Oh, it smells like a brand new pool, a swimming pool. Spoiler alert, if you haven't watched Naruto, I'm about to spoil it for you, so skip forward a little bit if you don't want to hear a Naruto spoiler. But I'm gonna give Itachi his, um, like, death, almost death stare, I guess he did before he dies. These are actually surprisingly detailed. Oh, wait a minute. Are you joshing me right now? Oh, never mind. No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I thought the face wasn't on there. Okay, we definitely have to fix the whole no arm thing. This is really cool. I am definitely gonna try not to lose the pieces of this, but we'll see how good that works. Oh, there we go. He's got, he's got, he's got one arm. All right, we're we're, get, we're getting somewhere. Are you having a fun? Yeah, yeah. Look at him. He's having so much fun. Okay, I, I, Itachi, I just have to pull your your hand off, okay? Ugh. Oh, I pulled the wrong hand off. Ah, crap. All right, now we have to pull off his face, which I don't know how we're gonna do that. I guess we could pull his hair back. I don't know. I don't know how else to do it because, like, if you look at his face, if you look at his face, which is actually surprisingly detailed, like, you can actually see his, like, shining on and stuff like that. What are you, what are you looking, camera? This is supposed to be face, facial recognition. Right there, right, right there. Yeah, there we go. That, that'll do it. So it just comes, it's not his hair, it just kind of comes off, so. Itachi! <laughs> oh my god. So his hair does come off, okay. So last but not least, we gotta give him his ponytail. I feel like I'm a toy channel now. 
Can we get some toy town easy gone see please? <laughs> hey guys, today we're gonna be playing with Naruto. Kill me. I would totally love to do a channel go on, on Naruto toys. Freaking awesome. Just pay me to do Naruto stuff. I'll open Nar Naruto toys all day. They're not they're not called toys, B Jow Mike. They're called action figures. Maybe I'll do some cinematic shots after I'm done uh, unboxing these. Sasuke, I love you. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Uh, before we move on to the last figure, I actually got, for all you Fooly Cooly fans, Fooly Cooly Season 2 is coming out, and we went to the panel there, and there's like a legit poster. An official Fooly Cooly Season 2 poster. I love Fooly Cooly. When I was in high school, I used to like put on Fooly Cooly before I slept. I mean, I watched it, obviously, but before I slept, I would fall asleep to Fooly Cooly because I love the soundtrack so much. It, just the show in general. It really, it, it brings, it's like so nostalgic to me, Fooly Cooly. So amazing. So I cannot be more excited for, you know, season two and three of Fooly Cooly. I just hope they really bring back the old voice actors if there's going to be reoccurring characters. I know like Haruko is going to be there, but if they're going to have other characters, they definitely have to have the same voices. Unless maybe they're older or something like that, but that's kind of my thoughts on that. I'm hoping they won't screw it up, but I don't think they will. I went to the panel and they, they answered a lot of questions, so I think it'll be good. Okay, so the last figure I got is from one of my all-time favorite animes. When it comes to top, like, five animes, I would say Steins Gate is on there. And so this is Makise Kurisu from... Steins Gate. Really, really amazing show. If you guys want anime that will just rip your insides out and keep you on the edge of your seats, and if you love time travel, definitely watch Steins Gate. I cannot recommend it enough. When people ask me what anime I recommend, it's this one because it's so freaking like underrated. So this one was actually $60 as you can see by the price tag. It was on sale, but it was just so cool. I love Steins Gate and it's the only Steins Gate figure I saw there, so I was like, I have to get this. Even the stand. That's kind of like the like the little things they have in the show. It's like a cogwheel, you know, symbolizing time and stuff like that. Very cool. Whoa. Hey, look at that. Pretty cool. St Steins Gate is also very, very funny. Really awesome. She's like, <laughs> don't, don't look at my butt. <laughs> I mean, is she not saying that? That's what she says in the show, right? No, it's not. So this, like, you have to put her foot on there, it looks like, somewhere. Bam. Just like that. Freaking cool. <laughs> Speaking of toy channels, guys, I got a big egg. Holy crap. I bought this for my wife because we, me, me and my wife kind of have like an inside joke. I mean, it's kind of inside joke, but she's always really loved Yoshi. And uh, I always call her like a dinosaur and stuff like that. So this is her egg and I bought it for her. So it has anime stuff in it. Ooh. I feel sorry for whatever laid this egg. God. So inside the egg, you can obviously, obviously see that there's, uh, you know, stuff in it. We have a Sailor Moon pop figure, as you can see. I would like to apologize because this, what I thought was a pop figure, they look strikingly similar, but I mean, obviously when you compare them side by side, they are not pop figures. That one doesn't have the same eyes, but I, I assume this was a pop figure without even really understanding it's actually not. It's just the same size as one. So yeah, uh, any Sailor Moon fans, leave a like. You know what, I always, I'm not saying that I hate Sailor Moon, because I, I don't. I just never gave it a chance because when I was little, all I wanted to watch was Dragon Ball Z. And I, th those would come on right next to each other, so I would just always hope it was Dragon Ball Z. I can't remember the name, but I really love Animal Crossing, and this is, you know, it's one of the characters from Animal Crossing. Really, really cute, so I was excited to get this. Um, these eggs actually costed $40, and it has like over $50 worth of stuff in it, so it was pretty cool. Just the mystery is what makes it fun. Also, this is what I slammed Clarence's, you know, over Clarence's face in the beginning of the episode as well. This is a clip stand. A clip stand. I don't... I'm not ex even exactly sure what the heck you would use this for, it, but if, judging by the picture, it looks like you can attach some anime figures or something. I don't know if it has special anime figures for this, but let's open it up and see what actually this is about. I think it's just a clip stand. It is ju It is just a clip stand. Wow. You get what you, what you ask for, I guess. I don't know. Now this I was really excited for just because of the fact that um, if you guys see my mic, you see this little cat? Um, a lot of you guys always ask me where I get that little clip from. Um, I actually got that from a one of the it was a Japanese crate I unboxed like a while ago. I don't even remember what it was called anymore, but this little cat up here is from Neko Atsume, just like this little cat. So I was really excited to get this. I thought this was really cute and interesting. I I used to be really addicted to that game, but then they stopped updating it, and I'm pretty sure there's an update now, but I stopped playing it, but I remember I broke my ankle and I was, you know, I spent most of my time making videos, watching anime and stuff like that, but I really played lots of Neko Atsume, so I really 
grown attached to that that series. It's cute. It's holding a fish. Now this is also really interesting as well. This is a one of the soundtracks to the anime, the melancholy of uh, Haruhi Suzumiya. Suzumiya. Yes, which that if, if you guys have not seen this anime uh, It turns out that Midori from Yandere Simulator is based off uh, the green-haired girl that is in this anime So that's really interesting. I actually just watched one episode of the other day And uh, it seems to be pretty funny and actually the English voice actor of Itachi uh, Which is Crispin Freeman voices the main character of this show if you're gonna watch it dubbed But I know I mean most people don't watch things dubbed I get it. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool So I'll finish this anime and now I'll have a decent soundtrack to actually enjoy so if you couldn't tell from my vlog of Anime Expo, the theme was Dragon Ball uh, Super. But apparently, they're also doing a new Dragon Ball uh, Super card game. So as you can see, we have all of these these cards and stuff. We got Super Saiyan God Goku. It's pretty cool. Like I I I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, I actually still have my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't really play that much anymore, but my friends still do. So I don't know if this thing will actually catch on or not. But yeah, they gave like a whole like, half of a deck. So, I mean, they were just handing it out for free, and only a certain amount of people got it, so I was pretty excited to actually get that. Even if I don't even play, it's just cool, one of those cool things to have. So yeah, they, they were giving these bags away. That's one thing that's cool about Anime Expo 2, is that you always want to be looking around because they could be giving out free stuff. I would say my favorite thing out of that is actually it comes with a drag- it's a, it's a Dragon Ball slash Dragon Ball Super uh, manga. If you, if you read it this way, you read a Dragon Ball, I guess the first volume of Dragon Ball, and if you turn it the other way and start reading it, then it's uh, Dragon Ball Super. So that's really, really cool. I, I enjoy this a lot. I always want to get more manga, but I just like don't want to go out and buy it, I guess. I would say uh, I we are going to Japan, so like I would buy some manga there, but that wouldn't make any sense because it's all in Japanese. Maybe it would just be cool to have. I don't know. But manga Japan is way cheaper than manga that you could buy here. So that's really why I don't buy a lot of manga here. Okay, so last but not least, if you guys ever find yourself at Anime Expo, maybe for the first time, they always, Crunchyroll usually always gives out these huge bags for free. So if you actually have a Crunchyroll account, you can just sign in. And they give you this free bag. You have to have a Crunchyroll Premium, but last year's I actually have was Kids Niver. I don't want to pull it out right now, but if you guys have watched my videos for a while, you've seen that bag. I put Clarence in it many times. But I also been watching Boruto because I'm a huge fan, fan of Naruto, so you know I'm giving Boruto a chance. So yeah, I thought that was really cool that they were giving out you know Boruto bags. Love these bags so much, and they're free. Like you can't argue with free, right? So yeah, that's pretty much everything I got from Anime Expo. Usually I don't get that much, but I thought this year I want to get you know some cool stuff and actually have things to remember. Um, anime Expo by again guys if you've missed last video of the vlog of Anime Expo I actually met Yandere Dev met Noble from you know Lost Paws and stuff like that Be sure to check it out right here, and we'll go ahead and end this episode with some cool cinematic shots of the figures Bye guys